Oh my gosh, guys, it is finally here. Wait, everything going to depend on what I say. Welcome back to my channel. I finally got my Shop Miss A. I mentioned it in my last video. It's like the $1 makeup. Like everything on the website is $1. I will post the website below. There's a lot of good ratings on this website, guys. Like a lot. But then again, I don't know anything about makeup. I put makeup on the way I do it, but I don't know how I'm doing it. I, don't, I just don't know. So, this might not be helpful for you. This might be helpful for you. I don't know. But all I'm doing today is I'm just going to open it up, unbox, you know, show you what I got and, you know, and how it looks and the packaging and all that good stuff. All right, guys. I'm going to open it. So right away, what we get is this lovely bubble wrap. And like, who doesn't like bubble wrap? We have the check off list right here. So basically saying all the things I ordered are in there and they're good. Okay, now on for the makeup products. It smells, I know, Mariah, why are you smelling stuff, you weirdo? Because I like the smell things, okay. It smells very plasticky. But hey, one dollar. One dollar. One dollar. They had different fan brushes as well. They had smaller ones, thinner ones. 
but you gotta go big or go home. <laughs> so the next thing your girl got in the brush family is a beauty blender. It's the AOA Studio Wonder Blender. Wonder Blender. So it's a high def sponge, La latex free, latex, latex, latex free. I've never owned a beauty blender, so I don't know how they're supposed to feel. Throwing that out there. So, but this is how big it is. Ooh, it's very squishy, very bouncy. Yes. And the picture says if you damp it, it will grow bigger. Like, it looks like it'll get like this big, like unrealistically huge. I've seen videos on it, this thing gets big, so don't underestimate it. Don't judge. Oop. Don't judge a book by its color, because it will get bigger. It, this looks mysterious. I don't know what this is. Oh, this might be the highlighter. Yes. The AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter in the color Snap. And oh, Snap, this makeup looked so good online. Like, this is a highlighter, a baked highlighter, like, come on. And if you want it to be, like, not baked, like, kind of, like, wet, you just wet your brush or, you know, spray, you know, you know. So, it doesn't look messy, you know. Let me just wash this real quick. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's so my color. I don't know if you can see that because my camera is flipped the other way, so I don't know. But this is it. Dry. This is dry. Let's see how it would look wet. This is it wet. I don't know if you can tell about the difference. I'm not sure, but trust me, this got some glow to it, okay? Okay, this got some glow to it, and it's only one dollar, so even if it didn't have a glow to it, I mean, like, you can use it as an eyeshadow, so, yes. Oh. Did it crack? Moving on, I also got this AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. I got this in the color Banana, because I am African-American, I can't be having ghost pale face on, no. Plus, I never had a setting powder, I never contoured my face, like, maybe I'll do some, a little something here and there, but I never did, like, the full Instagram contouring, baking, never done that, I'm gonna start doing it. <laughs> so, yes, this is the banana baking powder. I don't open it because I don't want it to be a mess, but, I mean, like, it's wrapped, it's, they even wrapped the baking powder. They wrapped the baking powder! I don't want the powder to come off. I don't know how messy these get because I've never really had one, so. Okay, so they have a plastic inside, so it's not, like, crazy messy right now. So, let me get some off the side, see what that looks like. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, like, this looks like color banana, like a banana color. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to throw this one, because I don't want to make a mess. Mm. So, the other things I got were, like, more liquidy face type stuff. In a wrap, man. These things are just wrapped up, so. Open it. Okay, so the first thing we got is some face primer. Primer is the stuff you put on your face before you do your face makeup, like your foundation, your contouring, all that stuff, your highlighting, your baking, anything you put this on first. So, the first one I got, look, they even individually wrap each one. There's a wrap on a wrap on a wrap on a wrap on the wraps of the wraps of the wraps on a wrap in the bag and a wrap in the wrap in the bags. How awesome is that? This is called the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Perfect Blur Primer. I guess it's supposed to blur out all of your mistakes. Just kidding, nobody has mistakes on their face. So this is obviously clear, so this can be for any skin type. Let me open this too. I don't know. Let me know if I should do like a first, re like a review, like me putting this all on. I don't think I should just because I don't know how to put on makeup, so I would have to practice first. So if it's like your first time, like buying makeup, like the whole shebang, girl, start with this one dollar first. Start off low and work your way up, okay? Because that's what I'm doing. It already smells so good. Smell it. Smell it. it smells good, right? So look at that. Oh, it looks nice and thick. I'm gonna just get a little dab. Of ah! We lost the top, guys. Oh, it's actually pretty watery. I don't know if it's gonna blur the face. I don't have makeup on. Well, I have lipstick on. Cause my lips are crusty. So it's pretty watery. So for those who like their primer thick, this wouldn't be for you. But if y'all like it watery and slippery and slutty, this is for you. I also got another primer. It's the Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. So it's supposed to give you that natural glow feel. Oh, okay. That one's more solidier than the other. Oh, it's already making my fingers illuminating. It's illuminating my finger. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. But you know, you're gonna put foundation over it anyway. So yeah. But unless you go bare face, like I like to go bare face a lot. Use Cosmetics Matte Finish Foundation. So it's supposed to finish matte. I got it in the color nine because Honestly, seven looked like my color, but I read the reviews. You need to read the reviews before you buy and choose a color. Read the reviews. They were saying, a lot of people were saying it was too light. Even YouTube videos about it, that the foundation was too light. 
shades I want, a few shades darker. Um, right off the bat, this kind of looks a little bit too dark, but then again, I don't know. But look how cute this is. Hey. Ooh, it's very thick, very thick. If you like caked up makeup, this is for you. Um, it kind of looks like my color on my hand. I don't know about my face. Um, but on my hand, it looks... Ooh. Everything I have, I drop. Why? Now it's on my pants. I don't think there's that much coverage on it, but for me, I don't care because I don't need a lot of coverage because your girl is flawless. It's pretty thick, you know, but we're going to try it out later on in life. I also got a concealer. It's the AOA Studio Wonder Cover HD Concealer. 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 Um, this is in the color Fawn. Also in the reviews, it said that um, the concealers are, some said lighter, some said darker, so it didn't really help. So I just went with the best that I can go. This is probably my color. It's probably not even lighter. I'll probably just use this as foundation. Alright, the brush is my type of brush. Let's see if it's so light. Um, this isn't too light, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like dark, dark, dark girls, this would be perfect for you. Or, again, it's just a highlight. So you put it like in like, these areas, you know, for that Instagram effect. <laughs> oh, no, my cowboys! By the way, I don't like the cowboys. I just like this hat, okay? So, I don't know. I guess I'll try that out and see if that can give me that uh, concealed effect. I like using it on my eyebrows. And last, but certainly not least, it's the LA Colors Contour Stick. And I have it, and I got it in the color medium to contour. There wasn't that many colors to choose from, guys. So yes, I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure this looks darker. Like this, like the pencil itself looks darker than the booty itself. Here it is, here it is. Um, I mean like, you can't see that at all. Like you can barely see that. Hopefully that's contouring enough. It might be good for my skin. So guys, that's all I got for you today. I'm so stoked to try this out and to see how it works. So if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share. Bye.